And new tonight at 5, the Castle High School community is mourning the passing of one of its teachers. 44 News reporter Alice Shemwell is live in Warren County tonight with what she's learned about his lasting impact. Ella? Yes, Fred Brocker was a passed away in his home early this morning. I've been told that he was a longtime teacher here at Castle High School. He was a coach, a husband, and also a father. Now, he only had two children of his own, but over the years as a teacher, he treated all of his students just like family. I spoke with one of his former students today who wanted to share the impact he had on his life 30 years later. And the last message that when we had a conversation was on Facebook because I was at the pit and I was working out and this young man said that he just graduated from Castle and I said, oh, one of my favorite teachers is there. Leslie White had Brocker as a student teacher at Harrison High School before he started teaching at Castle High School nearly 32 years ago. We actually would leave school early and go to Castle and sneak in to see Mr. Brocker. <laughs> White shares Mr. Brocker was different than any teacher he ever had. He understood, you know, the need to be different, and he allowed us to do that. And he just, it gave you a self-confidence that you wouldn't be able to imagine, and it made you want to work harder and improve as a student, as a person, and he did that with everyone he touched. Castle High School sent this email out to their families, stating in part, It is with deep sadness that we inform you about a recent loss to our school community. This loss is sure to raise many emotions, concerns, and questions for the entire school, especially our students. Now, the statement ends by saying that they do have a crisis response team on site to support all of their families, staff, and students. Reporting in Warwick County, Ella Shimwell, 44 News.